Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design for the February release. I'll be using that cute little girl with the strawberry. It's the Dessert Swissy stamp set. I also use Lawn Font Strawberry. There's a piece missing, I forgot to put it in there. Uh, from Jada Blossom, I use the Mini Tags Dice 3 for that little banner on the bottom here. And the rectangle dies one. Go bananas uh, for thank you very much. And I use this paper from Launch Font also. And here's my card base. It's four and five eighths by six. And I'll be putting just a little strip to match the paper from on top super easy and trim that off just like so and here is a green layer when I seen this stamp set I knew I had to do a strawberry shortcake theme card I was a fan of strawberries growing up strawberry shortcake and it came out right in the perfect time when my daughter was little. They revamped it, so I was so excited. It's like, oh, I got my strawberry shortcake again. So I used some white for on one side. So it looks like the light's shining on one side and then the other side's gonna be a little darker. Yes. And I had them, these strawberries in the store, so I went and snagged them for myself. The smaller ones, I, um, one of my friends wanted to buy it off of me, so I had to um, purchase it again because I love these strawberries. And here is the darker shade I go and put that on one side and then it's not dark enough you'll see I use like three kinds of colors and I just have to build it up because I want it really dark on one side just the edge not the whole strawberry just the edge and bring this one in I think I cut off the other one because I just tried it on one and it really didn't show up, that's why. But yeah, I did try three colors and I just need it really dark on one side. And here I'm gonna glue it down to a white base. You can do a brown base, depending on what the seeds you want the colors to be. I chose to go white. And like I said, I didn't have the smaller set on hand, so I had to just improvise and cut my own little background because I decided to go white instead of brown. And I think that's what I had cut was brown ones. There. And one more. So you can see it's not a perfect fit but no one will see that because it's just for the seeds. And that's the dye that I didn't have in the package is what cuts the seeds out. There's the mo uh, mowed lawn. I don't have my glasses, so I will be pinning the colors on top for the reds. Sorry about that. And when do you do the voiceover? You got a half a screen with a little tiny screen. So <laughs> if you need glasses, you don't see nothing. So I'm gonna do the other leaves too with the mode lawn. Super fun release. This is the first day, first preview day. 
and I will be back on Friday for the hop, the social media blog hop. I have my card and video done. I just have to do my voiceover for that one also. So that one's too cute too. It's a fun one. So this release is all about Swissies. They are so cute. We didn't get no new Swissies for a bit, so everybody was excited to see that we got some Swissies coming. There's my green fingers. <laughs> And I take the big one again. I thought that it didn't have enough green, so I just touched it up a bit. I put a little bit of tape so my card stays closed. It's easier to work with. <clears throat> I put some dimension. Love popping everything. So I'm just going to place everything. Make sure I have, you know, where I want everything before I start gluing because it's a little harder to... <laughs> to move them around so the one strawberry is going to be flat on the card and the other two are popped there's the little banner and I put some dimension on there too I won't be doing dimension on the green um, on top of the big one because that stamp is going to be sitting on top so she will be popped up and here's the other leaves she is so sweet And it looks so cute to her sitting on top of the big strawberry. So that's how I'm going to put my card together. So I'm going to start gluing some pieces down. to make sure everything's right because dimension dots there they uh, they can pull your paper and destroy it so you kind of really want to get it in right place and here I'm just looking where I want my leaves and I'll put some dimension on those two that like I said is going to be flat want to bring it down a little bit even though there's a little bit of red on top you won't see that because she'll be on top there and of course I will be coloring her on this video that's why it's pretty long <laughs> it's a long one again like so and then I like to make sure so I put her back on there put my little banner you don't want to hide the words also And the paper has kind of some lines on there so it helps to get it straight and then I'm gonna put the leaves down and I do have some dimension on those two because I kind of want that one the one right on top to be on top of her hair so it looks like you know, 3D look kind of. So 
so just like that we'll be pu uh, putting one more so it's higher and here's some flowers like the strawberries they always have little white flowers and little yellow insides and they come with one of those sets too I think it's the bigger one I think that's the set I still have here Lawn Fawn has I think three different set there's only the shaker one that I didn't get for the store no I lied it is in the store I just didn't grab it for myself <laughs> that's what it is yeah it's still in the store so maybe I'll make a shaker someday okay so here we go we're gonna go color our cute little strawberry girl so I start with the E00 and I go all around and do her little hands and there is the E13 and you'll see sometimes I'll take both caps off it's just because I did a lot of refill with my Copic markers and yeah sometimes when you put too much in there sometimes you don't even have to put too much you just if you put some fresh ink in there it sometimes it will spill so if you don't want a big puddle take both lids and it can breathe if that makes sense and it, you won't get a big puddle so here it is the e 11 so that's my third color and now I'm going to take my e 0 and touch the nib of the 11 just to help it along because there is a very big different sub color and you're just pulling those colors together sometimes it helps to do another layer with the 11 as I was doing and just blend So for the shoes, I got the E42, the 44, and the 43. Here's the 43. You drag that one a little deeper in. And there's the 42. So for the little dress, I decided to go with the, like a blue, like a jean. So I got the B93, 97, and 95. So I just looked at the colors of Strawberry Shortcake and just tried to go as close as I can with it. And when I was telling my daughter how I was going to do my card, even before I started it, just explaining, she says, that's my card. <laughs> she, she snagged it before I was even, you know, done. I was like, okay, I need to finish it and need to take pictures and then you can have it. Yeah, like I said, she was a big fan of Strawberry Shortcake, as I was. So here is the E08 for the hair so that's the, gonna be the lightest shade and here's the red so R17 so for the little 
heart, the shirt, and her stockings, her socks. There's a crease on the little knee, so I wasn't sure. <laughs> Before I did something wrong, I looked, and yeah, that little crease is there, but that's okay, because we need both sides of that crease to be red. So here is the darker shade for the hair, the E18. And the YG25 for some green. So I did the little bows on the shoes. And now I'm doing the topper on the strawberry. And I got the YG17. And I'm going to do that one more time after too because I find that it didn't make it such a big difference, the 17. And there, here is the E19. It is a little lighter than the 18. And I grab back the R17 for the strawberry. And here again is the 25 for the buttons and here is the E08 again for the hair. Trying to keep a little bit of highlights in there. While I was coloring the hair and had it about this point, <laughs> I kind of looked at it and said, hmm, I kind of colored it like Chucky too. <laughs> I had to tell you guys that. It kind of looked like Chucky a bit. Much cuter. Not saying that it looks like Chucky. Chucky's not cute. But it just the colors, it just hit me. It's like, oh my goodness, that's kind of like Chucky. But yeah, she's much cuter than Chucky. So I'm doing the YG25 and 17 for the little headband here. And that kind of changes the look <laughs> a bit. Oh, I thought it was funny when I was looking at that. So here I'm just going to start some pencil work. And I bring a little bit of gray on the stocking some shading and I'm gonna bring back my pencil in a little bit because I didn't do the top of the knee so I'm gonna do a little bit more and here is the brown for the shoes Yes, there's a macaroon on that set. My daughter loves macaroon. I find it just very plain myself, but she just loves them. But like for the look, a macaroon is beautiful. Like it's such a cute little dessert. 
So I'm gonna for sure gonna do one with a stack macaroon. There's yeah, it's too cute. They're gonna be a cute idea. So here I have some blue pencil. I'm just working that in, trying to make little creases here and there. So as I always say, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you can subscribe and then you get all the new um, releases from CC Design. And if you're on my channel, then you get all the different uh, releases from different companies. So it just depends where you're at because I do post it on my personal uh, page and also uh, on CC Design. And always, if you like my my uh, video, give it a thumbs up. It helps get it out there for other people to enjoy it too. Like I said, I'm trying to do a little bit of creases here and there. And here is the brown for the hands and the face and the little um, chin, or should I say neck? I should say neck, yes. I didn't put too too much because I found that she was already dark enough. So I just just to say I'm putting a little bit of shading. And here is the pink for her little cheeks. I like rosy cheeks and we're gonna blend that and I didn't say it with my Gamsol and nib just in case you're new to uh, my channel and here is some green for a little bow the top of the strawberry and the headband So there is three new sets with the Swissies this um, month. So check them all out. There's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, two more new sets. And then Friday is the hop. So we get to play with whatever, whatever set we want on that day. So you'll see some more um, ideas with this set also. And here I'm just darkening it up my little strawberry and the sleeves and here is a brown for the hair Just trying to get the tips and just so it's a little darker. And another thing too, 
sometimes I say it on my videos, always use the pencils on top of your markers. Do not go the other way around because then you're going to gunk your markers. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, you're going to ruin your markers with pencil. You always want to do your all your markers or even if you don't, you do one section at a time, it's fine. Just try not to do your marker on top of the pencil because yeah, it ruins the markers. Here I'm just doing the highlights on the little eyes here. Put them back white so they are nice and there it is. So sweet. And here's my card. And I pop her up also with some dimension. And here I'm just checking making sure where I need two um, layers because where she's sitting on the strawberries there's already a layer so the head part is not on the big strawberry so it needs two layers making sure not to go on top of the words The little leaf a little bit on her. Super cute. All right, so here again is the stamp set and the paper pack I used, the strawberry I used from Lawn Font, and that little banner from Jada Blossom. Stamp set from Jada Blossom. So, hope you like my card, and I'll see you all back on Friday for the hop. So, hope you join us. Bye.